Hi students, I am continuing the chapter sets and today I am going to discuss intersection operation of sets. So listen carefully. Next operations of sets today I am going to discuss is intersection of sets. The intersection of set A and B is a set of all elements which are common to both set A and B. Or a set of all those elements which belongs to both A and B. And the symbol, uh, this symbol is used to denote the intersection. And uh, if, A, if A intersection B, uh, if we write in set builder form, is the set of all x such that x is an element of a and x is an element of b. That is the set of all those elements which belongs to both a and b. Okay. So the intersection of the sets a and b is the set of all elements which are common to both a and b. So let us consider uh, set a is the set containing the element 1, 2, 3, 4. And set B is a set of all uh, sets containing the elements uh, 2, 3, 5, 7. Okay. So, we need to uh, write A intersection B. So, only we need to check uh, the elements which are common to both A and B. If the common terms, common elements are exist, then that is the answer of our uh, A intersection B. So, uh, if we look in a set A and set B, 2 and 3 are common in both set A and B. So, we write uh, the common elements 2, 3 is a set containing the element 2 and 2, 3 is the answer of our A intersection B. Okay. So only uh, we need to check the set of all elements which are common to both A and B. That is the answer of our intersection. Okay. And uh, this is one example. Next consider another example. Let A equal to 1, 5, 7, 9. Let B equal to the set containing the elements 2, 4, 6, 8. So we need to write A in the section B. So if we examine both of these sets, uh, no elements are common. Right. That means A intersection B is equal to null set or no elements are common. So, we write null set here. Such type of sets are called disjoint sets. If A and B are two sets such that A intersection such that A intersection B equal to 5, then A and B are called disjoint set. I hope you understood. Let's solve some questions regarding intersection. Okay, this is our first question. Given that if A equal to set of all x such that x is a natural number, B is a set of all x such that x is an even natural number, C is the set of all x such that x is an odd natural number, and D is a set of all x such that x is a prime number. Okay, and we need to find uh, A intersection B, A intersection C, A intersection D, B intersection C, B intersection D and last one is C intersection D. So, let's start the solution of this question. Uh, given that O, given A, B, C, D are all are in uh, set builder form, right? So, first we need to convert set builder form into uh, roster form. So, A is equal to set of all x such that x is a natural number. So, what will be the, uh, what will be A in roster form? Natural, x is a natural number. That means 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एक्सेट्रा राइट नेक्स्ट वन बी is the set of all x such that x is an even natural number so we need to convert it into roster form even natural number means 2 4 6 8 etc next one is c c is the set of all x such that x is an odd natural number so we need to convert it into roster form the answer will be 1 3 5 7 9 Etc. Okay, last one is set of all x such that x is a prime number. So what will be the answer? Prime number two, three, five, seven, eleven, etc. Okay. So uh, our first question. Is uh we need to find a intersection B. A intersection B is our first question. So let us look at our two set A and B. The intersection means uh a set of all elements which are common to both A and B, right? So let us look at uh, both set. Uh, what are the uh, co what are the elements which are common in both A and A both A and B? Two is common. Four is common. We know that next uh, natural number is six, so six is common. And seven, eight is a uh, next natural number. Eight is here. Eight is common to both set A and B. So right here, etc. That means A intersection B is the set of all x is the set of all even natural number, right? So here we can replace this answer to our B. Given that B is the set of all x such that x is an even natural number. So if we write, uh, if we replace This answer to B, the both answer will be the same. Okay, I hope you understood. So, next we move to the second question. We need to find A intersection C. So let us look at our both set A and C. First set is one, two, three, four. Set of all natural number. C is the set of all a uh, odd natural number the elements which are common to both a and b are 1 one. one is common to both a and c 3 3 is common to both a and c next is 5 5 is common to both a and c last 7 uh, etc okay So A intersection C is the set containing the element one, three, five, seven, etc. Or uh, we can replace it by uh, the given set by using C. Right? C is the set of all x such that x is an odd natural number. One, three, five, seven. We know that one, three, five, seven is set of all set of set of all odd natural number. Right? So We can replace it C in the section B. Either you can write like this or uh, like this. Okay. Third one is A intersection D. A intersection D. So let us look at both set A and D. A is the set of set of all natural number, and D is the uh, set of all prime number. In so, uh, if we check it, uh, the uh, common elements of both A and B, the elements which are common is 
A and D. Uh, so elements which are common is first two one is two, second one is three. Uh, five is common in both A and D. Seven is common in both A and D. Eleven is common in both A and D. That means we get set of all prime number here. So given that D is the uh, set of all uh, prime number, so replace. It by D. Okay. Next one is fourth one is we need to find B intersection C. So let us look at both set B and C. The elements which are common. Uh, B is the set of all. Even number and C is the set of all odd number, right? No element is common in both B and C, so we write phi here. So here we get B and C are disjoint set. Okay. Next we need to check B intersection D. B is the set of all. Uh, even natural number D is the uh, set of all prime number prime number the only one element which are common in both B and D is 2 so write 2 here this is the answer of B intersection D okay Sixth and the last question is we need to find uh, C intersection D. C is the set of all. Uh, C is the set of all uh, odd natural number. D is the set of all uh, prime number. Prime number. So we need to. Right, the common terms, common elements, the elements which are common in both uh, C and D. Uh, here, 3 is common. So, right here, first element is 3. 5 is common. 7 is common. Uh, 9 is not here. Uh, Next element of next element is 11, right? So we write 11 here. So 11 is common. So we write the elements which are common in both set C and D are first one is 3, second element is 5, third one is 7, uh, 9 is not common in both C and D. 11 is the next element which are common in both C and D. Okay. Etc. So, these are the uh, six answers of our six sub-questions. Okay. I hope you understood. This is our next question. In this question, we need to uh, find uh, the, the which of the following pairs of sets are disjoint okay uh, first question is uh, the set containing 1 2 3 4 and the next set is given that it's a set con set of all x such that x is a natural number and x lies between 4 and 6 that means 4 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 6 Okay, uh, we know that a disjoint set is, uh, set is the set containing uh, no elements which are common in both uh, A and B. Or it can be written as A intersection B is equal to null set. That means no elements are common in both A and B sets. Okay, so 
first we write uh, first set is given in roster form second uh, set is given in set builder form so we need to first convert the second set into uh, roster form okay the first set is uh, 1 2 3 4 let us name it as a and second set we need to convert it into roster form uh, it is a set of all x such that x is a natural number and uh, 4 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 6. That means x is a natural number which lies between 4 and 6 but here 4 and 6 and included. So uh, 4, the b is the set containing the elements 4, 5, 6. Okay. So next we need to find out the elements which are common in both set A and B. A intersection B equal to. Here 1, 2, 4 is common in both A and B. So A, A intersection B equal to 4 which is not equal to null set. That means these two set are not disjoint set. Okay. Set A and B are not disjoint set. Okay. Next uh, two sets are. First set is set containing the elements A, E, I, O, U. So let us name it as again A equal to set containing the elements A, E, I, O, U. And B is the set containing the elements C, D, E, F. So we need to uh, check the following pairs of set are disjoint or not. So uh, we need to find out the common elements which are common uh, the elements which are common in both set A and B. So here a intersection B is equal to here E is common in both elements both sets A and B so we write here A intersection B is equal to E which is further not equal to 5 so therefore we write it as A and B are not disjoint set disjoined set Okay, next uh, we move to the third part of this question. Uh, first uh, set is given, set of all x such that x is an even integer. Second set is given, x set of all x such that x is an odd integer. <coughs> okay, so let us name it as A. Uh, these two sets are given in uh, set builder form, so we need to convert it into roster form so set of all x such that x is an even number is converted into roster form we get set containing the element 2 4 6 8 etc and set b which are given in which are given in set builder form so we need to convert it into roster form the uh, x set of all x such that x is an odd integer uh, in roster form we get the elements containing set containing the elements odd integer means 1 3 5 7 etc observing these two sets uh, no elements are we get no elements are common in both a and b so we write a intersection B is equal to 5 here. Therefore, we can say that A and B are disjoint set. Disjoint sets. Okay. Next we move to uh, some important properties of operations of intersection. Okay. First property is A intersection B is always equal to B intersection A. 
we know that intersection means is the elements which are common to both the sets both set a and b right so uh, a in the, the answer of a in intersection b always equal to uh, a b intersection a and this uh, property is known as commutative law okay this is our first property the second property is known as associative law here first we find out a intersection b next we need to find out intersection the answer is compared to the set c and we need to find out the elements which are common in a intersection b set and set c okay which will be always equal to a intersection b intersection c okay abo a intersection b intersection c is equal to a intersection b intersection c here first we will find out b intersection c uh, then we need to compare the elements which are common in set a and b intersection c third property is null set intersection a is equal to null set null set means no elements are there right uh, a is a set contain any elements uh, by comparing these two set null set and set a uh, which will be easily uh, we can see that no elements are common in set phi and set a so we need to write null set right so uh, this is the uh, this law is known as law of null set next law is law of universal set here here u is representing a universal set so universal set intersection set a will be equal to set a we know that universal set is a big set which always um, containing the elements of set a so uh, if we if we are comparing universal set and set a uh, the elements which are common in uh, both set are element a so we write here set a and this law is known as law of universal set fifth property is idempotent law that means a intersection a is equal to a uh, the elements which are common in both set a and a uh, which is simply equal to a right so uh, here a in the a intersection a is equal to a and this law is known as idempotent law last one is distributive law distributive law states that a intersection b union c is equal to uh, we are multiplying uh, a intersection to both the elements so we get a intersection b first here and write this union here and uh, next one is a intersection c okay a intersection b union c equal to a intersection b union a intersection c and this law is known as distributive law this is our next question in this question we need to state whether each of the following statement is true or false and we need to justify our answers too so here is our first question the question is regarding disjoint set right we can see that all these four questions are regarding disjoint set we know that uh, if a set if two set a and b uh, are known as disjoint set if a intersection b is equal to null set that is no elements are common in both set a and b so let's start uh, our first question first question is the set containing 1 uh, sorry 2 3 4 5 and the next set containing 3 6 so let us name it as first set as a uh, set containing 
2, 3, 4, 5 and next set is B and it is the set containing the elements 3, 6. So next we need to find out the elements which are common in both A and B. A intersection B is the set containing here 2, uh, 3 is common in both the set. So write A intersection B is the set 3 which is not equal to null set. That means uh, the, uh, the given set A and B are not disjoint set. If uh, A in the section B equal to null set, uh, we can say that the given set uh, sets are disjoint set. But here we get uh, A in the section B is equal to 3. That means the given sets are disjoint. This, uh, uh, given sets are not disjoint set. So, the given statement is a wrong statement. Okay. Next we move to the second question. So, first uh, let us na name it as A. It is a set containing the elements A, E, I, O, U. And second set uh, we, we name it as B and it is a set containing the element A, B, C, D. So next we need to find A intersection B. Uh, the elements which are common in both A and B are A is common. A is the one which are common in both A and B. No other elements are common in A and B. Uh, which is further not equal to null set. The statement are these two sets are disjoint set. So we get these two sets are not disjoint set. So the given statement is a wrong statement. Okay. Next we move to the third question. So first set, uh, let it name it as A. Is a set containing the elements 2, 6, 10, 14. And second set we name it as B and it is a set containing 3, 7, 11, 15. And next we need to find out A intersection B. The elements which are common in both A and B. Here no elements are common in both A and B right. So it will be a null set. Okay. So, if we get A intersection B equal to null set, then the two sets are disjoint set. The statement is uh, also these two sets are disjoint set. So, we can write it as the given set is a true statement. Okay. Finally, we move to the last question. Here, uh, put A equal to 2, 6, 10. And the second set B, uh, B equal to 3, 7, 11. And we need to find uh, A intersection B. That means the elements which are common. If you observe these two set, we know uh, uh, there is no element uh, which are common in both A and B. So this will be a null set. So A and B are uh, disjoint set, right? The statement is also given uh, these two sets are disjoint set. So we can write it as it's a true statement. Okay. So we write here A and B are disjoint sets. I hope you understood the question.